In other recordings, we look at how to solve systems of equations where we are dealing with linear equations where there are three unknowns. In this recording, we take a bit of a look at the visual interpretation of some of those solutions. First of all, sometimes you might get three equations in three unknowns with a unique solution. So consider the equations here. These are all linear equations in three unknowns, thus representing the equations of planes. And these turn out to have a unique solution. Now the following graphic has been generated using Wolfram Alpha, and it shows the three planes represented by these equations. And the interpretation of the unique solution is that these three planes intersect in a point, which I've indicated in red there. So that is the unique solution of this system of equations. Other times what can happen is that you can find that you get an infinite number of solutions when solving three equations in three unknowns. And in that case, they will in fact be scalar parametric equations of a line of intersection of the three planes represented by the equations. So here is an example where this happens, where these are the equations and visually Again, using Wolfram Alpha, you can see that a graph has been generated to show these planes. And in fact, your planes are intersecting in a common line of intersection. And so that is why you get an infinite number of solutions, as there are an infinite number of points along that common line where the three planes meet. But sometimes you will also get a case where you have a system of three linear equations in three unknowns where there are no solutions to the set of equations. And I'll show three examples of what this can mean. Firstly, it might mean that your three planes are parallel. And this picture again is shown visually in Wolfram Alpha for the system of equations shown x plus y plus z equals 1, x plus y plus z equals 5, and x plus y plus z equals 8. So those three planes as shown are parallel and hence never intersect at a common point or line. Now here is another example of what can happen when you have a system of equations of this type where there are no solutions. x plus y plus z equals 1 and x plus y plus z equals 5. Again, those are parallel planes represented by these two planes here. But the plane negative x minus y plus z equals 3 is not parallel to those, so it will actually cut through the two parallel planes. So the way you're actually getting here is two parallel lines of intersection of the plane with the other two, but they never all meet together because of the fact of these two planes here that are parallel. So that is a third case where there are no solutions. So here is a final system of equations representing some planes to consider. x plus 3y... Oh, Sorry, just edit this bit out. A whole lot of people just went past shouting loudly. OK, I'll resume. Here is a, another system of equations x plus 3y plus z equals 6, x plus 2y minus z equals 5, and 3x plus 8y plus z equals 10. And looking at these equations, none of these represent parallel planes, and yet if you solved these, you would still find there is no solution. So what is going on here? And what is actually happening is that the three planes represented by these equations are intersecting in pairs only and in particular they're intersecting in parallel lines. So if you look at this picture closely you'll see that triangular region there where this is the line of intersection of one pair, here is a line of intersection of another pair and under there you can see the line of intersection of that third pair. So in actual fact those three lines of intersection of the pairs of planes are parallel so that they never actually meet in a common point. And this picture was generated using Wolfram Mathematica. So those are some examples to visually represent what's happening when you're solving simultaneous equations of this type.